Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about the cardinality of a set. So by the way guys, before tayo mag-start ang ating discussion, if you want to follow me sa ating social media account, which is the Facebook, and even TikTok, you can follow me sa mismong Math Teacher Go Facebook page natin. So you can see some of our posts sa mismong Facebook para makita natin yung mga uh, ideas na meron yung mga admins ko sa Facebook page. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, uh, cardinality of a set is an essential again, essential topic sa mismong discussion nyo or lesson nyo about sets. So let's define what is cardinality. The cardinality of a set is the number of elements in a set. Again, cardinality is the number of elements within a set. So dito, I have here five examples for us to do. Find the cardinality of each set below, in which dalawa yung klase ng sets na may, may, may encounter nyo dito. One is finite set, and the other is infinite set. So let's try having number one. We have set M, again set M, in which the elements of set M are A, B, C, D, and E. And we are asked to find the cardinality of this top, of this given set. So, paano ba yung symbol ng cardinality? For the symbol of cardinality, this is the symbol for cardinality. So, pwede nyo basahin ito bilang the cardinality of M is equal to 5. Sir, why is that the cardinality of M is 5? Simply because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements for set M. That's basic, guys. Next, let's have number 2. For number 2, we have set K, in which, as you can see, this is the only element of set K. So we can say that the cardinality of set K is equal to 1. Okay, guys? The cardinality is equal to 1. Let's move on with item number 3. This one is an empty set. Again, for those of you who doesn't know the meaning of this symbol, this is an empty, empty set or null set. So, we have the word empty, meaning wala siyang elements. So, simply, for this, the cardinality of empty set is equal to 0. Again, the cardinality of empty set is equal to 0. Let's move on with letter number 4, set R. We have 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. This one is not an infinite. This one is a finite set in which meron siyang hangganan. Ang last number niya or element niya is 100. If the last element is 100, from 1, 2, 3, look at the pattern. 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 100. So we can say na meron siyang 100 elements. So simply, the cardinality of set R is equal to 100. So as you can see guys, 1, 2, 3, 4 are all examples of finite set wherein we can directly know or we can count on the number of elements for the cardinality. So let's move on with number 5. This one is an example of infinite set. We have E or set E. And the elements of set E is the set of all even numbers. We know that uh, in our number system, the numbers are infinite. Again, the numbers are infinite. Even the odd numbers, even numbers, the numbers are infinite. So, sir, if the elements of this set E are infinite, what is the cardinality of set E? For the cardinality of set E, The cardinality of this is simply infinity. So this is the infinity symbol. For that, it's being infinite. That is the cardinality. So I hope, guys, now you learned something from this video on how to find the cardinality of a given set. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gun. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!